The U-20 World Championships had some pretty good moments, but Litsili Tobogo is determined to establish himself as a sprinting great. He took a page out of Jamaican legend Usain Bolt's book with his celebration 30 meters before winning the race. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Litsili Tobogo making an impression at the championships, so stay tuned. First off, Litsili Tobogo's hack for a better performance. When the time comes to stand at the starting line, every competitor is filled with nerves and thinking about how how they'll do this time around. Will they set a new personal record or get injured and fall behind as a result? Tobogo is no exception to these pre-race nerves, but he takes to music from his home to calm himself in hopes of performing better in the race. He said that most of the time he listens to traditional songs from Botswana as part of his ritual as they remind him of where he came from and where his roots still remain. It seemed like his way of reducing anxiety to ready himself for the race was working quite well. The 19-year-old keeps his composure during his races, and that, paired with his incredible athleticism, is leading him to record times on the junior circuit. He broke the world record for under 20 in a 100-meter race twice at just the start of this year. The first time was at the World Championships, where he clocked in at 9.94 seconds, and the second one was at the U-20 World Championships a few weeks later. He closed in at 9.91 seconds. While the second record is still pending ratification, the first one was confirmed on 20th September by the World Athletics. When asked about his spectacular performance on the track, Tobogo credited it to his ability to put aside any anxiety or nerves before he got to the starting line. Next up, Tobogo got everyone talking with his gesture in the last 30 meters of the race. He said that mental strength was extremely important, which is well known. He also mentioned that if you didn't come with a free mind looking to enjoy the race, the perfect race you and your coach planned would be nowhere in sight. And how was better to put away any thought that might disturb you on the blocks or during warm-up. His performance at the U-20 World Championships in Call had gotten him quite the hype in the athletic world. Of course, the way he easily pulled the lead in all other competitions is one of the reasons for his premature celebrations about 30 meters before the finishing line, the main reason he's getting all the attention. Tobogo decided that he needed to make the night a memorable one and, on impulse, gestured towards the right and wagged his fingers, which made him the talk of the athletic world. He said that he suddenly decided to do it, and at that moment, it left an impact. The player also clarified that he didn't mean it as disrespect to anyone. He only did it to give those up at night to watch the race, something to talk about for some time. Fans started comparing his celebration to Usain Bolt, who would always grin and spread his arms before reaching the finishing line. The celebration is iconic, and many hope that Tobogo will keep this up as he climbs the ladder. If he intends to put himself in the history books, he certainly off to a good start. Thirdly, he got acknowledged by springing legend Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt is still ruling over the athletics world with no one to stop him. This has led to fans labeling many emerging stars as his predecessor. Tobogo, on the other hand, hasn't even thought about trying to break his records, which are 9.58 for 100 meters and 19.19 for 200 meters. He's also hopeful that he'll get to meet the sprinter in the future. One of the places this could happen is next year's world champion chips in Budapest, Hungary. Until then, the 19-year-old is quite content with getting acknowledged by his idol on Twitter. About him, Tobogo said that the fact that his times were so fast showed that everything about him, especially his mental health, was in great shape. Most sprinters start to pursue their dreams in childhood. Tobogo, on the other hand, only started sprinting in his mid-teens when he realized he could make a career out of it. And he was right. And there aren't many 19-year-olds out there getting acknowledged by Usain Bolt. All of his junior records have come in the 100 meter races. But of course, that doesn't mean he doesn't raise others. He came seconds in Israel's Blessing of Frifa, losing by only six thousandths of a second at 2022's Junior World Championships. The two set a championship record of 19.96 seconds. This puts both of them in third place in the all time under 20 list, just ahead of Aaron Knighton and, of course, Usain. Finally, Hal Tobogo intends to continue taking his career to the next level. Knighton finished only 0.02 seconds behind Tobogo at the 100-meter race earlier this year. While talking about his American rival, he said that having such close competition gave him a lot of motivation to go back again and again to work harder each time. He also mentioned that in the future, they were going to have a very good run. Tobogo still hasn't decided whether he wants to work on the
the 200 meter in the future or keep on focusing on the 100 meter races. Meanwhile, as he makes his decision, his life moves on. Now he'll be starting at the University of Oregon and moving from junior racing to senior. He mentioned that when his juniors saw him, they were intimidated by him. Similarly, Jabogo felt the same feeling of intimidation from his seniors. He hopes to overtake this sometime soon and come up very well with him. At the end of the season, the sprinter took off several weeks for great and then started training again in the 1st of October. He stated that the first six weeks would be especially hard so that he would get back on the level he was during the last season. Then he can start thinking about how he wants to go on about his first year as a senior athlete. Though it looks like he has a firm goal in mind, he wants to be remembered like Usain Bolt, who is known as a legend across the globe. He said that he didn't have to be the fastest man alive. As long as he was among the top three, he would be happy with it. Still, fans can't wait to see how far he'll go with that drive. Now in other news, first off, Kevin Hart challenged Usain Bolt to a race. Comedian Kevin Hart challenged the fastest man alive to a 100 meter race and won. Well, not really but that's beside the point. During the promotional events of Poker Stars, Kevin and Usain kicked off a race and of course the comedian had a slight advantage, if you consider 30 meters slightly. Despite Usain's legendary speed, the now retired sprinter struggled to keep up with Kevin due to said 30 meters. The end of the show showed us quite the sight of a small comedian joking around and mocking the former sprinter as he tried his best to avoid losing but failed. Kevin was quite adamant that the race counted. He said that it was quite fair. As as long as he had his 30 meters, he could even defeat the fastest man alive. Next up, Simone Biles shut down unwelcomed comparisons. Simone Biles has been doing quite well nowadays, and her great shows of talents bringing back her first great achievement, which led her to lash out at athletic fans after the Rio Olympics 2016, and for a good reason. Biles is an incredible gymnast whose incredible performance during said Olympics won her several records. She even became the first ever American woman to win four Olympic gold gold medals in one outing. When fans come across a good athlete who's setting records like these at such a young age, their first instinct is to compare them with some athletic legend that has done a similar achievement. In this case, it was Usain Bolt and Michael Phelps, but this led to her a woman's achievement being overshadowed by men, and she shut down these comparisons by announcing she was neither the next Usain Bolt nor Michael Phelps, but the first Simone Biles. Finally, Joseph Fambolin on a mission to represent Liberia. Joseph Fambolin was born in America, but his mother wasn't, and as a way to give to her, he decried to represent her home country. Joseph holds a record in the 200-meter race in National Liberia and is the U.S. National Collegiate 200-meter and 100-meter champion. He is a man on a mission, a noble one, to change the face of a country wrecked by civil war and show his support to all the refugees that suffered because of it. He said that the only reason he was doing it was for his mother, and when he thought that he had reached the point that he'd done it for her, only then then would he do things for himself? That's a wrap for this video. What did you think of Lazili Tobogo's gesture? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.